What an object, according to Bree, is like holding a beautiful white dove? The answer is a casserole. Welcome back, people. My name is Ryan, and today we are playing the best game that ever did was. I think the music just tried to start playing, but failed. Um, Desperate Housewives. Tending your garden will raise your happiness need and increase your prestige in the neighborhood. To tend your garden, select the plot and then click on the Tend Garden action. Then fuck yeah, of course I'm going to tend my garden. Besides, look, I got the shittiest garden ever. I'm tending. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! Welcome to your garden, your own little plant sanctuary. Fuck. Take good. Looking at a well-manicured garden. Oh my god, garden, this is so complicated. Just to help you keep your garden in tip-top shape. Remove weeds and exterminate pests as soon as. Oh, it's a dumb mini game. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Do we have any weed? I don't see any weeds. All right, how much money do I have? Oh, look at that, I've got $2,500 from Sears. What? Okay. Well, I want the most expensive things then. I just want a bunch of these. A bunch of all the same plant, so that's perfect. And I wanna water all of them. Oh, this is so fucking perfect. Oh, is this like a thing where plants beside other plants that are growing stop growing? I probably should have been paying a little bit more attention during the whatever. Welcome to your garden. Your next the last tool we'll talk about is the watering can. The last right. tool we'll talk about is the watering can. As you can now see by looking at the blue, click on your plants. This plant's what fantastic. Right, your garden perfect. is next Pest up. Control. Pest control. As you can see, your handy a single to exterminate. Or you can take your flowers can. Phew. The last tool we'll oh, talk okay. about is the. All right, that's like their life, because you can't spray them too much. Gotta get this up higher. All right. Perfect. I think this looks fucking great. Alright, we did it, you guys. I was expecting it to look a little bit less like shit. Oh well. My appearance need is low. Oh god. Um, I guess I better go... inside. And... what do you do to fix your appearance need? Listen, I can't go in and talk to all those ladies and not be pretty. Okay? Okay? Oh, I can wash my hands at the vanity. That I clicked accidentally. And does not look at all like the icon that I clicked. There we go. Alright, I'm pretty. I'm fucking beautiful. Let's go. Over there. Hustle and bustle, lady. I'm going to the brick house with the blue house with the brick. Is that this place? Oh, okay, yeah, blue house with the brick. Oh, and the fabulous garden that she was totally fucking all over. She's like, man, and that garden I have is the best thing because that's the most important thing in my fucking life. is this fucking garden, and like, just chatting with bitches. Like you, please come chat. Hey, I'm your I bitch! You could make it. I'm come chat Look with you. you. All dolled up for a girl's night out. <laughs> um, thanks. After spending all day getting the house ready, and by that I mean washing my hands twice, I decided to freshen up a bit, which is just washing my hands twice. Remind me not to move again. 
It's a lot of work. Why don't you make yourself at home? Everyone is excited to meet the new girl on Wisteria Lane. Delightful. I think I'll do just that. Oh yeah, no fuck, let's skip to Juicy Gossip, please. Now that we've gotten all the formal introductions out of the way, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself? Uh, hmm. Oh, right, let's brag super hard about the fact that my husband's a doctor. I read that in the instruction book. Apparently, he didn't like the patients at his hospital, so he decided to move out into the burbs, or whatever. Oh, how nice. And how long have you and your husband been together? Hey, bitch. Um, hello? You're a woman. Shouldn't that number be etched in your mind somewhere? <laughs> it should be, but my memory isn't exactly in the best condition. <laughs> oh god! I can play as like the be I can play out the best fucking soap opera plot. I have amnesia. That's a very strange thing to say. I'll say. Just what do you mean by that? <laughs> It's just that some time ago, I was involved in an accident and lost the better part of my memory leading up to that point. My husband filled me in on the details, but I only sort of remember. My, I certainly wasn't expecting you to tell us that. I'm terribly sorry I asked. Perhaps we should move on. I don't know, Bree. It's not that bad. I know I've got more than a few moments in my life that I'd like to forget about altogether. It's been difficult not being able to remember things that everyone else can, like my childhood or my parents, but I've been able to move on with my life. Don't take this the wrong way, but that's just so weird. From what you're telling us, it sounds like there's a huge stretch of your life that you can't account for. Yeah, maybe I fucking cut a bitch for asking too many questions. How could she possibly take that the wrong way, Gabby? I'd like to take this time to apologize on Gabrielle's behalf. Apparently she's been taking notes from the Edie Britt School of Social Etiquette. You guys all hate her too? All I'm saying is that when you only know about one half of your life, there's no telling when the other half might come back for a visit. Ooh. Ladies? What do you say we cut the small talk and get down to business, hmm? I don't want our new neighbor to think I'm a snoop or anything, but I saw Edie do something questionable the other day. Why am I not sitting down? You won't think any less of me for divulging this bit of gossip, will you? <laughs> Spill it, bitch! I saw her sneaking yes. around and digging through people's mailboxes while I was out jogging. My mailbox? No, it wasn't any of ours. But I thought you should all know about it. Ooh, you all just have to hear what I found in my mailbox. Ah, uh, shit. I have to, I can't, I can't accuse Edie. I guess any of these will kind of accuse Edie. Well, I guess I'm gonna go whole hog. What are you talking about? I found these pills inside an envelope with the initials E.B. on it. They must be E.D.'s. Pills? So that's what she was looking for. I wonder what they are. They're probably special extra strength birth control pills. You know, considering how much E.D. gets special around. Special extra strength birth control pills? Is there such a thing as an extra strength birth control pill? I just noticed the really creepy bust sitting on the sitting on the mantle of the fireplace there, and now I can't do anything but stare at it. Or um, maybe it's something she puts in her date's drink to get them all riled up. I wouldn't put it past her. <laughs> I maybe I should hold on to these. You know, she keeps the men around here safe from Edie. You are so going to fit in great around here. I agree completely, and while I would love to stay and continue this discussion, I gotta go before Tom lets the kids play one of his car racing video games again. Yeah, you should play something 
you should have your kids playing something less less racy, like desperate desperate as 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 wives. Yeah, I better get going too. I have some work to do on my book. You know what? It's been a fucking pleasure meeting you all. You're all fantastic. Um, and I look forward to getting to know all of you better. Your secrets button, indicated by a folder, is where all of the dirt that you've gathered on other people in the neighborhood is stored. Of course, if you do anything secret worthy, it will be listed here as well. I have a secrets folder. Hello. What an absolute treat it is to see you. Can I run something past you? Shoot. It's funny you should say that, because I have a question about guns. You're a member of the NRA, aren't you? What? Okay, sure. A very proud card-carrying member, as a matter of fact. If I, you know, shot somebody, would I go to jail? Only if you get caught, or only if it appears to be a crime. <laughs> I knew you were the right person to ask. Very well. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some baking to do. Good day. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? I can't even. Let's walk across the street now. Check on the plants. Oh, oh. Run me over, bitch. Run me over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Off I go. Oh, it's Edie. Let's talk to Edie. Go, Blanca. I remembered my name. I'm very pleased. My car is a Chrysler Pacifica, apparently. What the fuck are you doing, Edie? Get out of my mailbox! Oh, sorry. This really isn't as bad as it looks. From what I... Wait, no. Would you care to explain yourself? Well, you wouldn't know it yet, but our mailman can be a little absent-minded. I have some important real estate documents that I was expecting days ago. Hmm. Well, if that happens, I'll make sure to bring them over to you, Edie. Of course. Great idea. Thanks again. I'm keeping these pills. I want her to become, like, weird and crazy and unhinged. Hey, plants, how are you doing? Doing okay, plants? That's good. Alright. Let's go inside. There's an arrow attacking my oven. Oh, do I have to cook dinner for my husband? <laughs> okay. I'm going to cook... I'm gonna cook a recipe. I'm gonna cook... Ooh, banana meat- banana meatloaf. That sounds delicious. I'm gonna cook banana meatloaf for dinner. You get stuck on a door. I am playing with Sims, aren't I? <clears throat> right. Welcome to your kitchen. The cooking mini game will allow you to make delicious- I'll figure it out. Preheat oven to three- to three- to 350. Alright. Oven. Uh. Add butter to bowl. Ground beef to bowl. But that's bananas. Breadcrumbs? Breadcrumbs. Stir it. Banana to bowl. Just turn that down a bit. Black pepper. Paprika. Salt. Alright, you back up to 350. Alright. Loaf in the oven. I don't know how to do that. Oh, okay, perfect. I did it. Hey, honey, that smells really good. Yeah, 
It's a banana meatloaf, Golden Irie. Why, why are you looking around so shiftily? Um. <laughs> Yikes, Cornell! Don't sneak up on me while I'm holding sharp knives. Sorry to scare you. We just got home. <sighs> oh shit, should I be the bitchiest wife in the world? I'm gonna be that. Well, it's about fucking time. I need to tell you all about my day. So much happened. Can it wait? My day felt extra long today. And I just want to rest and relax for a minute. Oh, well, you know what? My day hasn't really been a walk in the park, you know. But go ahead. Tell me about your day. It was as busy as can be. There is so much work to do setting up the new office here. I really underestimated how much. Patient files that have to be updated and organized. New computers to network together. Luckily, I found a new assistant to help out around the office. Oh, God, I don't want to be so mean to him because he seems like a really sweet guy. And honestly, that face, like, it's just really mean to be mean to someone who has a really terrible face. All right. That's nothing compared to my day. The not bitchy option. The halfway. The convenient middle. I'd love to hear about your day, honey, but I'm really hungry. Is dinner almost ready? <laughs> Can you even wait until after I tell you about my day? I'm really sorry, honey. It's been a long day. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. You're just lucky I love you so much. Ugh. Right, you're just lucky I love you so much. Have a seat at the table. That's just the picture from the, uh, from Mom, the menu. Mom, this doesn't taste as good as your normal cooking. That is no way to speak to your mother, young man. That's right, I worked hard on this meal. I'm sure he didn't mean it. But I don't really want to talk about it. Can I be excused? Listen, just sit and talk with us for a bit. Jesus Christ. That's ridiculous! First you forced me to move to this stupid place, now you won't let me leave the dinner table. Listen, it's not like I'm asking you to give blood. I'm just asking you to tell us about your day. Fine. What do you want to know? Have you met anyone that you like at school yet? Most of them are total losers. There were a couple people that seemed pretty cool. Oh, really? Were any of them cute girls? <gasps> Ooh, honey, please. That's unnecessary. No, I like juicy gossip. I want whatever the other option is. Well, there is a teaching assistant that seems really helpful in my English class. <laughs> Gross. Good. If you make friends with her, she might be able to improve your grades. <laughs> Oh, honey, Alexandro doesn't need to schmooze to improve his grades. He is a very bright child. He's a very bright child who appears to be, like, 30. So, can I go, or do I still have to serve some time? I need to meet my old friends online. Is it so hard to talk to us? Is it so hard to talk to your lovely family? We cooked you a JPEG! A JPEG of a banana meatloaf and put it on a circle for you. For just for you. Oh. You would think we have the plague. And then I vomited it into the bowl and cooked it and it turned into a banana meatloaf. I just don't know, dear. So anyway, how was your day? It was really exciting. I met so many neighbors. It all started with a visit from the realtor, Edie Britt. I hate her. Well, um, she seems like someone who will make an interesting neighbor. And after that, I went to I was went went with V Brandon Camp to meet some of the other housewives. And they were the best. I loved all of them. They all sound really nice. Maybe we can have them over for a party sometime. Yes. And I'm going to take up gardening. You really have had a long day, haven't you? I apologize for not letting you tell me about it earlier. Was that a long day? Okay, if you say so, game. Or Cornell. Cornell is the game. Um, alright. It's okay, honey. 
Hopefully things will settle, settle down around here soon. Actually, no. I'm gonna pick this middle one, because I hope that Wisteria Lane gets more crazy. Uh, now, tell me about your assistant and how you're gonna fuck her, please. Oh, there isn't much to tell. There's plenty, and you can start with her age. I'm not sure of her exact <laughs> age, but I would guess around 30. Don't worry. I hired her because she had an impressive resume. Ooh, I can imagine her impressive resume and her well-rounded set of skills. Honey, please. Don't you trust me? Listen, after meeting some of the women around here, I just worry about you. I will be careful. I would never disrespect you in that way. Alright. That's good to hear. Are you ready for dessert? Ah, uh, I don't think I could eat another bite. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's... I don't know. Let's fuck, I guess. Oh? Oh. What a nice idea. I'll meet you up there. Oh, this is gonna be the worst. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Sometimes, the stars align and two people hit it off immediately. Other times, only time will tell whom will prove to be a friend. who will reveal themselves to be a worthy adversary. I think that makes a delightfully fantastic place to stop playing this game, which is very quickly becoming my favorite thing in the whole universe. So, thanks for watching.